Hey, hello everybody, it's Brian Levitt, DAV, and today we're coming to you live with Doug Wells, DAV's National Membership Director and also a Marine Corps veteran, so Semper Fi. Um, as many of you know, usually this time of year we would all gather in person. Uh, this year is going to be Dallas, Texas for our <laughs> national convention. Unfortunately, for reasons that uh, too many of us are too familiar with, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced us to cancel that. But with DAV being a member-driven organization, the information is really what is important, uh, just as much as the camaraderie is the knowledge. So Doug, with that in mind, usually we'd be on the ground in Dallas, Texas this year, and you'd have your membership uh, seminar and divulge a lot of information and new things that are going on. But for starters right here today, um, for those who might not be aware, new to DAV, why is membership in an organization like DAV so important and so valuable for veterans uh, across the globe and their families? Well, first of all, Brian, uh, uh, thanks for that intro and Semper Fi to you. Uh, the, the health and well-being of our members is paramount in all the decisions that DAV makes because indeed, to your question, uh, our members are much more valuable to us and, and the country as a whole in the fight. And um, if, uh, if they're you know, on the sideline because they're dealing with an illness, uh, then that's not going to help continue uh, our mission of uh, serving those that have served and uh, taking care of, of disabled veterans and their families. So we need to ensure um, that we're still able to uh, invite as many folks to the DAV as possible. And we're gonna talk about it, a lot of the tools that we've made available to our member recruiters uh, to do just that safely uh, during these unusual times. But certainly uh, it's important for for folks that are eligible for membership in the DAV, uh, wartime disabled veterans, uh, to join because we are stronger together. Uh, of course, as we uh, do the, the, the great work that we do uh, in uh, Washington, D.C., uh, as well as in uh, state and local areas, advocating for disabled veterans and their families uh, and ensuring that they receive the benefits that they've earned by virtue of their service, the more weight we have behind our message uh, via our membership, the more successful our campaigns are. Uh, our elected officials definitely sit up and, and take note when DAV speaks, and it's, it's almost entirely uh, the result of the strong membership that we have backing the DAV. Not only the strong membership, but the strong and supportive vocal membership that we have. No, I, I think you're right. The vocal uh, aspect is critical. Um, and, you know, thanks for that kind of laying the foundation for some of the people that might be watching that are familiar. And with that in mind, um, you know, with membership being so important, um, how are your members and DAB members out there in the field or recruiters, what are some of the tools that are at their disposal um, to kind of highlight those reasons and get that in front of the veterans that they may come across? Right. So we've been um, working very hard over the last few years to embrace uh, digital platforms, uh, to make everything mobile friendly. Uh, and we'll talk some, some more about that here as we get going in the presentation. But certainly uh, we have spared no expense in making sure that our uh, members have all the tools necessary to successfully recruit uh, into the organization because when a member who understands the importance and value of DAV invites another member in directly, uh, chances are that that new member is going to be more successful within the organization and be uh, an even uh, more valuable uh, resource and uh, supporter of the organization as we you know, go about our work every single day. It, it is very difficult to get things done especially at the grassroots level, without strong, involved members. And when you have somebody offering that personal invitation into the organization and explaining to them the importance of DAV, mentoring them throughout the ranks, uh, that person will then turn into a lifetime uh, supporter of the organization. And there isn't a dollar figure that you can place on that. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. Um, and Obviously, I mean, not to beat, a, beat the drum about COVID-19, but obviously it's, it's forced not just DAV, but companies and organizations uh, and charities across the country to kind of change their protocols in certain ways and how they do business. And recruiting kneecap to kneecap, as they would say, um, and into an organization like this can be challenging when, you know, you're not having those chapter meetings maybe on the local level or the 
departments and the reps and the leadership's not maybe able to get in the same room and hash out some strategic plans. So these digital tools that you talk about, like Recruiter Warrior is one, uh, which we can go into a little bit, that gives you that freedom and connection or ability to connect uh, while being socially distanced as we have become so accustomed to. So how um, would you say those tools have been able to pivot or how has that helped DAV and your recruiters stay fluent during such an odd time? Well, it's actually been pretty tremendous actually. Our, our uh, digital re recruitments continue to grow. Uh, you know, our uh, grassroots recruiters are continuing to embrace those tools more and more as they go about their uh, recruiting machinations. Um, and then we're also doing things to help facilitate that for them and encourage, you know, the camaraderie and a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, healthy competition, friendly competition between our departments. Um, I'll mention real quick our March Membership Madness Tournament, uh, where we break up all of our uh, departments into a bracket style uh, tournament uh, format and let them face off against with, uh, one another until we have a winner. Uh, this year, we had a brand new winner emerge, uh, the Department of Colorado, so congratulations to them. Uh, typically, we would uh, give them their, their trophy and whatnot as they uh, came out for our annual Commanders and Adjutants meeting, but as you know, that's been canceled as well because of uh, uh, current situation. So uh, we will offer them tremendous thanks and gratitude and congratulations uh, for an outstanding effort on the department as a whole and uh, especially their uh, recruiters uh, amongst the service officer ranks, chapter, department, and national service officers who really stepped up to the plate uh, to bring that win home for the Department of Colorado. So it was really nice to see. Now that's awesome. Congratulations to them and you know as veterans ourselves, uh, competition uh, can bring out that uh, fighting spirit in us all. So it's, it's nice to see that uh, kind of inject some fun into it and also obviously the higher purpose and meaning behind it all is what drives the day. Um, but going back to Recruit a Warrior for a brief moment, how does that work? I understand that there is a uh, competition that will be coming down the pipe here in the near future. Um, can you explain to our viewers a little bit about how that works, the referral link process, and then the competition you have coming up? Right, absolutely. So um, Recruit a Warrior is just another arrow that we're putting into the quiver of our member recruiters. So essentially what they do is they go to dav.org slash warrior. Uh, there is a social hub screen that'll come up. There they can do some fun stuff like uh, download frames for their Facebook, things of that nature. Uh, but the, the main thing they wanna do is input their email address, especially if they had signed up online themselves, input their email address uh, and they will be sent a link from the uh, Recruit a Warrior site automatically. And the link will tell them two things. One, it'll say you're good to go. Uh, here's your personalized, uh, secure recruitment link. Uh, or we don't have you in our system. Here's what you do to you know get signed up. And then we can take care of all of that here at the membership department at DAV yeah. National Headquarters. Uh, so they just gotta email us or, or give us a call as directed to by the uh, the uh, response when they input their, their email address. Uh, not all of our members have signed up online, obviously, so they may not be in the system currently. It's no sweat, we just build them a profile. Uh, the thing I really wanna hammer home before we talk about uh, the, uh, uh, the contest is that these Recruit Warrior links are active all the time. Okay. And we're gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff throughout the year. Uh, we had a really good success, amount of success with this when we did it. Um, going into the holidays last year. So I'm hopeful, uh, you know, we'll have, you know, that same success and even more replicated as we do it this year. But the great thing about the Recruit a Warrior link, once you get that all squared away, is it allows you a one-click capability to go ahead and either email your link or share it on your social media, Facebook or Twitter. Um, we're exploring some other options potentially, but those are the three primary ways. You can also text your link to somebody uh, that you're looking to recruit. So it's inc it's very secure, it's absolutely secure. That way you're not having to put somebody's uh, credit card info mm -hmm. uh, into your own phone. Uh, it brings that peace of mind, but uh, it is the easiest way to recruit someone and you can also sign them up for as little as $10 a month. Um, so and that's, you know, that's especially helpful 
uh, for those that uh, you know need to have a, a little more flexibility with respect to their payment uh, purposes. So um, you know, I just want to take a minute to, to plug uh, the DAV dues video. If people wonder why um, you know DAV has dues uh, for uh, membership, uh, it's that's the primary mechanism that we use to help facilitate funding of our grassroots efforts. So uh, I don't know of another organization that does it this way, but we take in these dues and then redistribute a good portion of them back to the grassroots uh, organizations, the chapters and departments that that member belongs to. So uh, the leaders in that area can best determine how to utilize those resources. So if they have needs to cover for a transportation network fan or to buy a service officer or a computer because the VA has gone totally digital now, uh, to buy supplies, to, you know, to do what they've got to do to be successful in their area. It's a lot better for them to help make that determination than to us just to dictate uh, from here in our, our perch in uh, uh, national headquarters um, what they need on the ground. So the local leaders know best what they need on the ground. So take a look at that dues video. <coughs> Pardon me, if anybody has questions about what dues are utilized for, it's a great 45 second video, I think is what we got it down to. Perfect for sharing on social media as well. Um, but it answers all the questions that, that folks have as to what DAV does with our dues. Yeah, and you can find that uh, video, um, and we can't put a link to it, but it's also on DAV's YouTube page. If you just search membership dues, you should find it pretty easily. And on that note, um, not to make light of it, because, I mean, it is a serious topic we talk about fraud, but there are member advantages as well uh, when you were to become a member of DAV, and one of those is, I think, identity guard and identity theft protection. Mm -hmm. just want to give that plug. But on that note, uh, what are some of the, you can briefly run down um, some of the membership benefits or advantages that members do get. One, one quick, I also wanted to point out on the Recruit Award link before we moved on to that. Yep. Um, when, when our members recruit folks, remember, they still get the recruitment points. Points, yes. So uh, for every member that they recruit, they do get their recruitment points. Uh, in addition to any other uh, opportunities we have for special programs uh, that we're running, and, and uh, I don't think we actually mentioned, on the Recruit Warrior Challenge, uh, that is going to go from October 1st through November 30th. So for every member that um, one of our member recruiters uh, bring into the organization, they will get one entry uh, toward a $1,000 cash prize. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff. If they can use that uh, however they want to use it. Uh, moving forward, uh, Lisa Gregory out of the Department of Virginia won that last year. Uh, she had, uh, I think it was about uh, 20 or so entries uh, so she really bolstered her chances there and it worked yeah. out. So I uh, really appreciate her and her efforts and everybody that supported her. Uh, but we're doing that again uh, October 1st through November 30th. Uh, we'll do a live drawing on Facebook or something again. Uh, and you'll have that uh, cash over right in, the, right in time for, for that Christmas bill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you went back to that as I got a little ahead of ourselves with the uh, member benefits and advantages. Uh, so I'm glad you went back and closed that loop. Please get involved in that recruit uh, the warrior challenge. Uh, I don't know anybody that's turned down a thousand dollars, and you're also helping veterans at the same time. Exactly. Um, but uh, what are, if you don't mind, just briefly, because we do got to try to keep uh, these things as short as we can. Um, but uh, what are some of the member uh, benefits to joining the as far as the discounts and the partners? Sure, uh, we we refer to it as our member advantages program. Uh, and our member advantage partners uh, are folks who uh, are aligned with DAV and our mission, are very supportive of our mission. And if they're not contributing outright to DAV, um, then they are somebody who, with whom we have an affinity agreement, meaning okay. every time a member utilizes one of their uh, programs, DAV will get a portion of those proceeds to help then further fund DAV's programs and services. So it's a win-win-win. Um, so, you know, we've got great partners, T-Mobile, uh, USAA, Ford, 1-800-Flowers, Identity Guard you mentioned earlier. If you have to do an interstate move, North American uh, Van Lines is there, uh, Quicken Loans. We've got uh, our, our newest uh, pre prescription drug benefit is now available. Uh, check that out. Rental vehicles with Avis and Budget. 
uh, medical medical guardian if you need uh, some support at home. Uh, you know, if you're if you have an elderly member or you you're worried about falling or something like that, uh, you can go ahead and uh, engage their services at a, at a substantially discounted rate. So uh, every time somebody uses one of these services, again, if they're not already a traditional partner that's been supporting DAV in many other ways, we have an affinity agreement with them. Uh, so if you're getting ready to buy, you know, flowers for uh, you know, the anniversary or whatever it is, give 1-800-Flowers a look because DAV will then get a portion of those proceeds so that we can then again further fund DAV's programs and services. So that's, you know, uh, that's what we're doing with all of our member advantage partners uh, and they're uh, being incredibly supportive of our mission and, and what we're trying to do every single day to take care yeah. of well, No, certainly. And thanks to all of uh, our member advantage partners for what they do and their uh, cause to help EAB and veterans alike. Um, now, transitioning here briefly before we wrap up back into the actual recruiting aspect uh, of gaining new membership. Um, can you tell us a little bit about hot list and how those uh, can be obtained uh, by interested members? Sure. So um, the hot list is a concept that we came up with a couple of years ago. And what I wanted to do is to connect our member recruiters to the greatest degree I could with those that are eligible for membership. Uh, you know, in years past, we had really kind of just relied on our member recruiters happening to bump into somebody that they figured out was eligible for membership. Well, we know that there's a lot of folks out of, uh, out there that are eligible for membership and we've got their you know contact info some more than others but we can reach them so i wanted to put those folks in in touch with our um, member recruiters and so through the authorities at the chapter or uh, the department their their officers uh, who could you know keep control of these lists uh, they can request them and then uh, allow their member recruiters to go ahead and reach out to these folks now it's my humble opinion that when we invite folks to the organization, they are gonna be a lot more amenable and eager to join um, if they understand the value of DAV. So if we you know, come at them and say, hey, are you getting to the, your hospital appointments uh, to and from? Have, have you had somebody look at your claim? You know, can we help you out with that? Uh, is there a volunteer opportunity that we can help you with? You need your gutters cleaned, the pipe fixed, whatever it might be through our LVAP program. There are so many things that our local members, uh, our chapter members who have service ingrained in them are looking for opportunities to do. Once they uh, have that opportunity to serve, that person that's been served and you know, is gonna have a better understanding of who DAV is, not just at the national level with the great work that we do advocating in DC and around the country, but also what we're doing you know, with our next door neighbor. Um, and, and helping them out because it's really when you boil it down, it's all about the community and the people that you're serving right next door, right? So uh, if we can connect them with these folks, give them opportunities to serve and then reach out and say, hey, we, we certainly love you to come to the chapter meeting, consider joining, you know, becoming one of the, uh, the many here. Uh, and, you know, because we're stronger together, as I mentioned earlier, I certainly think that that is a better strategy uh, to recruit folks rather than, you know, uh, someone signing up for membership, which we appreciate, you know, anybody that wants to sign up, we're obviously, uh, you know, very appreciative of that, but we want folks to be involved. And if you can show them the value um, that not only is their investment in DAV financially going to reap them, but also the, the return on their time, yeah. which is almost more valuable than money today. Um, people are so busy. So if we can invite them in and, and with all of that understanding, then again, they're just gonna be, you know, they're gonna be a, a more productive member, supportive member, and they're gonna be happier too within the organization and a rising tide lifts all boats. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly a big advocate of this. So that's what the hot list is. It's a way for us to connect them, connect our member recruiters and, and department of chapter leaders with these folks that we know are eligible for membership in the DAV. So they can take a targeted approach yep. to inviting folks into the organization. All they need to do to get those is either um, they can send in the membership list request form and let us know what zip codes they want it for. Just give us a call at 888-236-8313 at the membership department here, 
or shoot us an email at membershippublic at beemail.org and we will get it all figured out for them. But it's the request has got to come from a chapter of the department okay. officer. Okay. No, all valuable information there. Um, makes a lot of sense, especially, you know, as you said, kind of the investor, the buy-in, let them understand the importance or still then the why. Everybody has a why and why they want to do this, why they want to be involved with DAB in that case. Um, and lastly here, before I, I let you go, Doug, and let you get back to the, the daily grind and back to your work at hand, um, there's a new initiative from my understanding that is actually kind of geared towards the internal individuals, veterans that are already members. It's called Warriors Club, and it's a way for them to even further elevate um, their cause within the organization, if you will. But uh, being the subject matter expert, would you mind telling our viewers a little bit about that and uh, what that entails? Sure. Uh, we, we partnered with our uh, fundraising folks on this uh, initiative. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, with our membership dues, uh, we bring those in and then we shoot money back out to the uh, out to our field uh, so our local leaders can best determine, you know, how to spend that, that uh, money out, out there where it's best needed. Um, you know, for a while now, we've been distributing essentially twice as much as we've been taking in. Um, and that's not a sustainable model, obviously. Uh, that had a little bit to do with our recent dues increase. Um, but uh, this is another way in which we can hopefully continue to stabilize our life membership fund um, to ensure that, that that resource is there to support those local initiatives of DAV uh, as we continue to move on and, and take care of the the next generations of disabled and the, uh, disabled veterans and their families. So as you mentioned, this is uh, a opportunity that's exclusive to DAV full life members. So of course we want folks to pay off their membership prior to uh, you know, engaging in the, the Warriors Club. Uh, it supports DAV at the local level, as I mentioned. Um, you know, we have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of members that were already giving monthly uh, to the organization through other mechanisms that we have unsolicited. So that just told us that there was a, a, an additional untapped resource here from a fundraising standpoint to continue to support the AV's programs and services that, you know, we had a, a great opportunity to take, take advantage of uh, to make sure that we are preserving this, this great program. Uh, so essentially what we're asking for is a minimum of $20, 20, pardon me, $21 or uh, each month uh, or more if, if folks uh, can afford it. But this these uh, resources would go uh, towards rehabilitation and counseling program support, uh, free rides to and from the medical, uh, veterans medical appointments via our transportation network, um, providing support to, uh, uh, you know, veterans, uh, hospitals and nursing homes, uh, career training and job placement, obviously benefits representation at the grassroots level with our chapter and department service officers, uh, legislative advocacy, uh, and on and on and on. There's just so much work that DAV does, but that's just to name a few. Um, so if, if folks uh, can, um, you know, absorb that type of, of uh, donation uh, to the organization, uh, we would certainly appreciate them considering it. And, and that program is continuing to be fleshed out, by the way. Uh, yeah. We're looking at hopefully having, you know, we, we were exploring some neat things to do this year in Dallas with our Warriors Club members, um, some additional recognition, things of that nature, uh, maybe some special events, uh, all that's still being fleshed out. So we're going to look forward to trying to uh, do some fun stuff like that at our next uh, national convention. Um, but for more information on the uh, on the Warriors Club, uh, the toll-free number that folks can call is 833-829-7066, or they can email warriorsclub at dav.org. And uh, one of our folks will, you know, get back with them and get them squared away. Uh, and, you know, not that, uh, you know, this makes a huge difference, but the membership card is pretty sweet looking. So. <laughs> it is. I have seen one. Um, but... Uh... Doug, uh, you know, I really appreciate your time. Uh, I really hope uh, our viewers today got something out of this. Um, as Doug always likes to say, you know, membership's a lifeblood at DAV. And Doug, anything, uh, any closing remarks here before I let you go? Just real quick, I'm so appreciative of the effort of all of our members and what they do every single day. Uh, I want to make sure that they understand that they can reach out to me, dwells at dav.org, 
Uh, my direct line is 859-442-2060. Uh, of course, they're always welcome to call the membership department or email the membership department. But uh, certainly I am here for them. Uh, and if they need anything, all the way from uh, our department leadership on down to the individual member, I'm here for them and we will get back to them ASAP. And if I can't answer the question for them, I'm gonna get them to somebody that can. All right, I uh, you can take the man at his word. I've seen him in action. But Doug, thank you very much. To you, those watching, thank you, stay safe. And please check out VAB.org. You can find just about anything or a link to it that we discussed here today right there. And Doug, thank you very much.